This is Chi Yi's advice for proficient practice of cessation and contemplation. Oil and fire are mutually dependent in order for a lamp to give light, and the eyes and feet help each other for a person to advance. If you are diligent in both practice and understanding, then the three obstacles and four demonic forces that hinder contemplation will confusedly contend with each other and arise in your thoughts. This will multiply your darkness and magnify your distractions, thus shading and disturbing the light of your concentration. You should not follow after nor be afraid of these phenomena. If you follow after them, they will lead you to the evil destinies. If you fear them, they will hinder your cultivation of the correct dharma practice. You should utilize the practice of contemplation to contemplate the darkness and thus brighten the darkness. You should utilize the practice of cessation to stop the distractions and thus the distractions will be quiescent. This practice of both cessation and contemplation like all streams flowing into the sea, and yet the sea remains the same. This Vajra-like contemplation can split the array of passionate afflictions, and these hard and strong feet of cessation can take you beyond the field of birth and death or samsara. Wisdom purifies practice, and practice brings forth the progress of wisdom. Together they illuminate or moisten and enrich, guide and accomplish, and thus adorn each other with brightness, as the two hands of a single body wipe and clean each other. It is not that you should merely clear away the obstacles and inwardly progress on your own path, but you should also be diligent in mastering the sutras and treatises, and reveal them to outsiders who have not yet heard them. Heal yourself and heal others, and thus be endowed with the good qualities of benefiting both yourself and others. Who else can be considered a teacher of people? Again, learn from the Buddha's compassion, which has no hint of stinginess, and be of service to others by expounding cessation and contemplation. Open the gate and tilt the store of the Dharma to cast out the wish-fulfilling Mani Jewel. The jewel then radiates light, causes jewels to rain from the sky, illuminates the darkness, enriches the poor, brightens the night, and saves the destitute. <laughs>